Uh, this is a uh, another town hall that was uh, scheduled after we made some revisions. Uh, so if this is your first time here, uh, you missed a couple that were, one was at Willow Bend, one was at Bennett. And then again, this one is a third one that is uh, put in place because we made some revisions to those original uh, uh, maps. So uh, again, we're uh, looking at the boundaries for uh, elementary number nine because Friendship is a fast growth district. And after all the town hall meetings, we worked with the demographer to adjust the boundaries concerning the opening of number uh, nine. The adjustments made, uh, again, were with an eye on using our buildings efficiently and uh, as well as the continued growth of Friendship ISD. And so if you've been to the others, you, this will look kind of familiar to you, but there are some changes on this one. So this is our current boundaries. The colors are the elementary boundaries. And on this one, this is what was presented uh, earlier in October. And so this shows the uh, boundaries and then the blue lines are uh, the middle school boundaries. So you can see the blue lines that run through the middle of the district as to where uh, the boundaries are. Uh, I'm not going to go over every road that uh, is affected, but you can see the colors. And elementary number nine is uh, in this red area right here. So tonight we're here uh, because we made some adjustments that affects mostly uh, Upland Heights. And so we want to make sure you guys were aware uh, and, and uh, have the information in front of you. So the area we're looking at in the original is this area right here. You can see uh, from 82nd to 90th Street right above the, the pointer. That was uh, originally zoned to stay at Upland Heights. And then down here, this part right here from 98th to 114th was originally zoned to go to Oak Ridge. When we got to looking at it and, and running our numbers, uh, we moved this area here from 82nd to 90th Street, Alcove to Upland, to Oak Ridge, and then we moved this area from 98th to 114th, uh, Upland to Milwaukee, back uh, to Upland. And the reason uh, behind this is this area right in here has no other, uh, there's, there's a, a neighborhood right in here that has no other exit except to exit right here in front of Upland Heights. And so they come straight into Upland Heights and then would have to drive past Upland Heights to go to Oak Ridge. And so we moved them back here. And in order to do that, we had to move some folks to Oak Ridge to keep the numbers here at Upland Heights at a manageable uh, amount. And so this, that's where uh, this part up here uh, got moved to Oak Ridge. So the numbers, uh, this is the original numbers for uh, Oak Ridge and Upland Heights. And then with the changes, uh, again, if you look at this, you get out here to uh, 28, 29, 27, 28, we're looking at another bond for elementary number 10. But if you look at these, we're looking at a bond in 28 to 29. Uh, and the numbers, uh, again, it does increase Oak Ridge numbers by about 50, uh, but the buildings are able to handle uh, these numbers uh, until we can get number 10 going. And so for the revision for uh, option B, so uh, the option B change on the original was elementary number nine went up here and caught some of this area here. And over here, that's the same here, but the revisions down here are the same. So uh, the 98th to 114th, Upland to Milwaukee, and then 82nd to 90th Street, Alcove to Upland. Uh, those two are the, ch are the same. The numbers on option B are similar. Uh, obviously, these are the same. And then here we got the same thing, but we have to start looking at a bond in 26-27. Uh, when we start getting up to those numbers there. The changes don't affect uh, West Wind, but it does affect every other uh, campus in our district. Uh, so every other elementary campus in our district on both options. And in December, uh, we're gonna recommend to the board uh, the proposed attendance zone as a discussion item so the board members can ask us questions, uh, uh, ask questions among themselves. Uh, basically, it's a discussion item so they can talk about it in the uh, board meeting. 
They also will provide an opportunity for public input. So if you want to talk to the board directly, you can come to that meeting, sign up, and, and talk at that meeting. In January, uh, the board will vote on the proposed attendance zones. And then in the spring, we will talk about grandfathering. And again, grandfathering is, are we going to come up with some kind of system where some kids get the choice of going to their new campus or staying at their current campus? So that's what the grandfathering is. My name is Richard Dean, Assistant Superintendent of uh, Administrative Services. That's a phone number where you can reach me. That's the main number there at the central office. And then uh, Friendship Boundaries at Friendship.us. Uh, some of you guys have used that. Uh, we've gotten several emails on that. And uh, you can also reach us to the, with that. What I do with your email, if you email me, I'm going to make a copy and paste and put it in a document to give to the board members. So if you misspell an, uh, a word or something, they will get the misspelled word. I'm not correcting anything, not changing the title on anything uh, or anything like that. So if you send me an email at this email, then I will copy that, paste it, and the board members will get a copy of that. And I will acknowledge your email. Uh, it'll be something like, thank you for your feedback. So with that, um, if you have uh, comments, questions, uh, there's a microphone in the middle. Uh, we would ask that you come to the microphone, introduce yourself, your name, so we, we uh, have an idea who you are, and then uh, make your comments. My name is Darren Oakley. Um, my family lives in Cambridge Way. So question when making the boundaries, were feeder paths taken into account for the children going from elementary to middle school and so on? We, we don't have a true feeder pattern for elementary to middle schools. Okay. Well, in, in, saying so, in, in saying this, if you look back at your map, it completely took, it, it, it messed up the Cambridge Way feeder path going from Upland Heights, and now they're going to be going to Oak Ridge, and they're going to then go from Oak Ridge, and then they're going to jump over to um, Friendship Middle School, which is going to basically leave all the children that just spent, like, for instance, my daughter being in first grade this year, is going to spend the next four years at Oak Ridge. After Oak Ridge, she's going to make all these relationships at Oak Ridge. She's going to go from Oak Ridge, and then she's going to go to Friendship Middle School. She, all those kids that she made friends with, she's not going to go to new school. And it's completely, you know, I understand it messed, you know, a bunch of the other areas, but, you know, and that's their situation right there, but this is the situation I'm looking at. And changing this, it has completely thrown off quite a few families in the area and their children. Okay. So. Thank you. Yes, sir. My name is Timothy McWilliams, and I'm also part of that division, and I second everything he just said, that it creates an awkward division for relationships beyond the ones that we've already established here at Upland Heights. When we talk about the values of the district and community, this is a community we have put into this community, and now we're going to uproot that and move it to a different school and have to rebuild that. As soon as it's rebuilt, as he said, it would be different for the middle school. Um, did we take into account any of the other, like say, construction projects that would be going on in the future? You mentioned there's only one roadway in or out. Uh, we know this area is growing and that that will change quickly. And so there would likely in the next year or so be another outlet path for them that would not disrupt all of the students that are attending Upland Heights right now. Our demographer took into account the, the uh, building areas. Uh, and that area is not do, due to be built out anytime soon, uh, if, if that, that makes sense. And the developer is uh, responsible for the road on the back side of that, and he's not in, interested in building that road at this time. But, but I don't, uh, as far as the, the rest of that, that's the, that's the best I've got on that. Okay. Short of going back to the other option, um, which I completely urge that we go back to the, the option before revision, um, I would then urge a, a very strong set for that grandfathering clause as you brought in. I know it's been presented for the middle schools as, as Alcove Trails has come on. Um, I would suggest that and urge that for students here at Upland Heights to be able to have the option to stay here. Um, this school means everything to our kids sure. and if the learners are first then upsetting those relationships, those systems that are built you know, in midstream of elementary could severely set them back or cause issues and obstacles for them moving in through middle school and on up. Okay. Thank you. Hi, my 
my name's Macy Doss. Um, I've been in education for 16 years and I have a master's in family education and um, just that, that uh, middle school time is just such a crucial change and by this revision it not only upsets our neighborhood but also the one across the street um, which will be here at Upland and then they're going to have to also transition to a new middle school. Um, I had a fifth grader last year. We maybe had 10 kids in our whole neighborhood that um, just that moved on to middle school. So if our neighborhood is the only one changing, um, then that's just such a small number in compared to these 800 kids in middle school um, trying to find their path. And that's just such a, a crucial time in their life. Um, we have a petition that has been signed by um, over 100 people when I printed it out. I don't know what it's at right now. Um, that are, are not supportive of the revised option, and so we just wanted to make sure that you guys had that. Um, sorry, I have some notes. Um, another op uh, thing that, that just blows my mind is there's two schools closer than Oak Ridge from our, our neighborhood. Um, so that, it just, it's just crazy to me to think that we're gonna bypass two schools <clears throat> that are much easier to get to um, I mean, we could almost walk to Bennett from our house, um, and then driving to Upland Heights is much closer than Oak Ridge. And, and the part of the outlet across the street, um, I leave, drop off my kids, <clears throat> I leave through that neighborhood and go out the back side. They have an exit, it has a stop sign, it's, it's drivable, it's not a dirt road. So they do have another outlet. Um, my other thought, is our neighborhood <clears throat> is, is very small. Um, I think it's, it's only like 14 years old. This would be the fourth school that our neighborhood has changed to. And I think it's really important for us to have a strong home base, and we are not getting that. We've been at Upland for, I think, seven years, um, which has been fabulous. But I think just being in this part of, of your boundaries that keeps having to change every time there's a revision, um, I just don't think it's great for our kids and our community trying to establish a, just a steady home. So I'm going to give you these names. Thank you. You sent an email too, didn't you? Um, I did not. I, did not. I, did not. I can't. I can send it to you that way. I'm Angela Young, and we live on Quincy, which is just right here near um, Upland Heights. Our son is autistic. We have been coming to the school along with our daughter since it opened. And we've built a relationship here, and the administration works with us very well. And my son doesn't go with change very easily. And even though he's in first grade, you know, I don't know the extent of what these grandfathering uh, lines are going to look like and the issue is it's more than likely going to be for fourth or fifth grade getting to stay here so I don't even know if anyone has taken into account for those that do have special needs and do not do well with change okay. thank you sorry I'm short <laughs> and my name is Garen Stroud I'm with the Cambridge Way group um, I would like to touch base on everything that they all said. They took the words right out of my mouth. Um, we just want to make sure that we get the same treatment as everybody else did along the other town halls and meetings. We weren't affected at that point, but now we are. And so we just want to make sure that the boards get all of our feedback and everything else. And something else I would like to mention is I do have two kids who are SPED students. And like she said, it does affect kids who would change. It affects kids with their consistency, their confidence. I have a feeling that this is gonna be a big impact on grades. Um, and I would just like to take that in consideration. You know, like they just, this is hard on them. And it's not just about friendships. This is about deeper things than just that. It's, it's the community, the face-to-face -face every day, the teachers that we've all poured our hearts and souls into to, you know, I guess trust with our kids. So I would like for y'all to take that in consideration of just, you know, the 50 students that you're putting in Oak Ridge. Thank you. Thank you. I'll move it. 
I'm Christine. I live on the same street they do. I think a lot of us are here from Cambridge Way. Um, so before coming here, I told my daughter why I was coming here. And I, I wanted to tell her, because I don't know if this is going to change or not. And I literally took a video of her crying. And it breaks my heart because she literally said, I don't ever want to go to school again if I have to change things. The teacher she has right now, Ms. Bennett, absolutely loves her. I've made a friendship with Ms. Bennett. I've Ms. Dowell last year made a friendship with her. And I come from such a small town where I didn't have to change school. So this is new to me. But for my, for my daughter to say, I never want to go to school again if I have to change schools, like, that's so upsetting. Because obviously that affects her confidence with who she's with. And she already has, she has a disability. She can't move her right arm. And the friends that she has now, they haven't said anything to her about it. She hasn't been bullied. So I don't know how it's gonna be at Oak Ridge. But for her to readjust and make new friends, I don't like that. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna touch on a different subject because I'm not actually um, <laughs> part of this group. But my kiddos are at Bennett. And the original um, boundaries have us, we're in that little triangle corner um, that they're moving from the Bennett boundary to the Upland Heights boundary. And my question is, if you have people who are in this boundary, why on earth would you take people who are further away when you have people who are closer here that want to stay here? My kids have been at Bennett now for four plus years. Um, my son also as well has severe anxiety and the thought has really made him upset about having to move and change and layouts of new schools and new teachers and people he doesn't know because we don't live in these neighborhoods. So we're not exactly, you know, like my kids don't know these kids. And so my question is maybe they need to go back and look and try to find something that is the least disruptive for current students and where they're at that doesn't involve switching all of the schools and everybody around. Because if you take that little corner where I'm at, it's like 240 kids, give or take, that you would be adding to the Upland Heights, but you wanna move these 50 people and put them in Oak Ridge so that it's not as full here. But you're in one of the provisions you're wanting to add more. That to me just does not make any sense. Okay. And especially when it's further away logistics wise. But if I were to have to come to Upland Heights, I'd either have to take 98 that's not paved. That road is horrible when the weather's bad. Just in general, the road is bad. Or I would have to bypass to 1585 and come up a two-lane road with, you know, school traffic. That road, either if I come from 82nd or if I come from 1585, you're at stop signs, you're at one-lane traffic. It would take, I mean, it would probably add 25 to minutes just my commute time just sitting on the two lane road. So I think something needs to be looked at as far as keeping the kids that are closer that are already established here versus well, let's move this from this side and add them to Upland Heights. I think that needs to be considered as well. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Hello, uh, my name is Cassandra Garcia and I live in, a, in Quincy Park. So there's a small area in Quincy Park that is zoned to Upland Heights. And so my son has attended Upland Heights since kindergarten and next school year, school year he will be in third grade. Um, from my house to Upland Heights, it is nine streets, but now going to Oak Ridge is driving 26 streets. So that just doesn't make sense to me either. And um, I, just like this lady back here, I told my son a few days ago that most likely he might have to go to Oak Ridge. And so his first reaction was to cry. So he cried first and now he has some anger. And so he doesn't know how to express these emotions. And so I just ask everyone to think of their emotions and not just see them as a zone and a number. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, my name is Amanda Weathers, and I sent you an email, and I would just like to touch on some of those uh, <clears throat> topics that I sent you in the email. Um, everything that has already been discussed here, 
um, I, I want to say, I want to express all those concerns. Um, and I also want to thank you for your consideration, for hearing us out. I do not envy your job at all in trying to make everything work in everyone's best interest. Um, there's a lot of just different perspectives here that you're trying to address and consider, and that is not an easy job, so thank you. Um, our biggest concern is um, we do have a child that's special needs, and he should be starting middle school next year, but he is struggling. We're looking at what is going to be in his best interest. Does he need to repeat fifth grade, or does he need to move on? And us going from where we're at up, at Upland Heights to Oak Ridge is going to create even more change. And then him having to go to middle school. That's our personal. The facts are, we live in Quincy Park, 0.7 miles away. My friend here, Brittany, she, she actually drove it and mapped it out. It's 0.7 miles from here to Upland. It is four miles to Oak Ridge. I'm also considering the bus transportation for those kids that are right here and can be dropped off within five to 10 minutes versus a 15, 20 minute drive down Milwaukee. That's gonna put a huge strain, an already strained system. Um, and personally, we have a friend whose son is <clears throat> battling cancer right now. We're her backup to pick up her younger son. If we're having to pick up children from two different schools, that's going to be a huge challenge for us personally. I'm sure that there are other people that will step in, but for sure she knows she can depend on us because her son that is battling cancer has been in kindergarten with our son. And now they're all the way through the school system and that dynamic is just gonna be broken. Thank you. Thank you. My name's Brandon Griffin. I live over in Quincy Park. Um, I'm not sure about the grandfather rules. That's the first time I've heard about that. But um, I just wanted to say that one of the reasons we bought a house in Quincy Park was because of Upland Heights. And then second, my daughter has been going here since first grade. And she's going to be in fifth grade next year. And it is frustrating to think that she's going to have to change elementary schools and go over to Oak Ridge just for one year before going somewhere else for middle school. So I would like to just add that to consideration in the grandfather roles for, I mean, kids that have been going here for a long time already. If there's any way they could finish out here, that would be really nice. Okay, Thanks. thank you. Hello, my name is Zach Kirkland. I do live in Quincy Park. I have three kids here. I actually have two relatives that teach here, so they are my backup, and that's the reason I bought the house where I did. But I have one in kindergarten, one in second, one in fifth, about to go to middle school. And uh, I haven't heard this mentioned, but dropping multiple kids off now. If we go to Oak Ridge, we'll have to drop the little ones off at Oak Ridge and then drive all the way down 82nd, all the way out to Wolferth to drop my middle school daughter off. I think that's a pretty big ask for our neighborhood and I would just consider if you are moving these kids even in the future that they stay in the group and feed to the same middle school with the kids they go to elementary school with. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, if there's uh, no other, then uh, we'll call this meeting over. Uh, if you have questions or anything, feel free uh, to email uh, the friendship boundaries at friendship.us. Um, this is being recorded, so uh, it's being recorded at the back. Uh, the board members will have access to this as well. Uh, so, uh, again, thank you guys for taking time out of your night to come and, and visit with us uh, and give us your concerns and, and the emails that you've sent. Uh, I've received, hopefully you've received a um, thank you for your feedback at least uh, from me. Uh, if you have any questions, again, feel free to free e email us. Thank you all.